Hi, I'm clinical psychologist Dr. Michael Yapko, and I want to take this opportunity to acquaint you with my new book, The Discriminating Therapist. Now, this book is four decades in the making. I have spent my entire professional life developing what I've come to call process-oriented therapy, a way of addressing how people do things rather than taking the traditional approach of trying to explain why they do things. Specifically, I focus on the quality of people's choices. After all, it is the quality of your choices, the choices that you make that determine your quality of life. And so often when I'm interviewing clients, I'm really surprised to find out how they have gone about making some of the most important life decisions that they can make. They make it on the basis of reflex, or they make it on the basis of traditions that are no longer relevant, or they just follow whatever impulsive feelings they might happen to have. And so it becomes a critically important process to understand something about how they go about choosing in order to identify their choice-making strategy and where a therapist can then identify what's missing in this person's strategy. What discriminations aren't they making that would be more helpful to them in making a much better choice that would yield a better quality of life for them? So my book, The Discriminating Therapist, is all about developing the salient, the appropriate how question. As an example, how do you know whether something is in your control or isn't? Well, there's a perfect example of a critically important issue given how important it is to accurately assess do I have some control here or don't I to really make a difference. So in addressing 12 different key discriminations that relate to depression, anxiety, PTSD, I'm basically coaching therapists with how to identify the problem area from the kinds of client statements that they spontaneously make during the clinical interview, how to then structure the how question to reveal what's missing from the person's strategy, and how to structure the therapy to quickly and efficiently provide the kinds of information, provide the kinds of discriminations that will help people make better choices. Well, I think this book is an especially important book for therapists, and it's easily an approach that's integrated with any existing therapeutic approach that you already have. But understanding something about how people make decisions couldn't be a more important topic to address in the course of therapy, and I really believe that the discriminating therapist will help therapists quickly and efficiently zero in on what's going to make therapy more effective for this particular client. I hope you'll take a look at the book, and I hope you'll agree with me. Thanks for your attention.